somewhere in that neck of the woods. Nicely done. <laughs> a little bit of noodlery. Noodling for the kids. <laughs> the great, the great Greg Cock. Lord have mercy, Nathaniel, always fun playing, doggone it. I know. I'm in, I'm in awe of your playing as, as always. Well, Just, likewise, uh, my friend. No, no, great, your... great mastery of the instrument. Uh, it's important. I don't know. I, I, I can't. I can't take it seriously coming from you. It's, it's, you're too. You're too good. What? You know, <laughs> you know what? You're, you're a hero of mine. Honestly. Well, I, I well thank you very it, much. Honestly. That's flattering. I appreciate that. I, I remember. So growing up in Manchester, uh, I'd be in the kitchen. This is when we first got the internet. And so I'd be looking at clips of you playing and lessons, and I'd be you know trying to figure out what you're doing. And you know, I, I remember trying to do, for example, the uh, the. Uh... Ah yes. <laughs> All that kind of stuff, you know, and you know, so you are a huge inspiration. So it's a bit, you know, it's, it's cool, but it's still kind of strange that I'm here with you now. Oh, but it's, it's well, amazing. I, that's it's flattering. Amazing. I appreciate that. Bless you. <laughs> I'm a big admirer of your activities. And no. I've been enjoying your videos online and. Uh, Oh, thank you. And to play with you in person is a great pleasure. No, so it's, great it's, to see uh, you. I'm honored. I'm honored. Uh, so we are talking about uh, the Fisherman pickups, I believe. We are indeed. Yeah. Now, first things first. How did that actually come about? How did that? get going well it's an interesting thing so my relationship with fishman started about uh 10 years ago uh and what's kind of funny i'll just give a brief little thing about that so richie fliegler who was a guy that i knew from back in the fender days i used to do a bunch of fender clinics uh but he was always buddies with larry fishman who's like the coolest guy in the world right larry's just as cool as they come so uh, he calls me up one day and i was actually headed with the band over to europe some damn place and i was sitting at my uh uh, my gate at the Detroit airport, and uh, Richie called me up and said, "Listen, I'm working with Larry Fishman on these electric guitar pickups." And oh, I almost started snoring immediately because. <laughs> and the only reason why, because I'm not one of these guys that is like, "Oh my God, I really need to swap out these pickups." You know, it's yeah. like if I get a guitar and it sounds good, it's like we're done. You know, that's pretty much how I operate. It's kind of similar. But the yeah. only caveat is, is that you do like to have that guitar that's quiet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so if I'm going to go over and travel someplace and I can bring one guitar, I'm probably like, well, I'm going to bring the one with the noiseless-ish pickups. Yeah. Um, because I, I don't know what kind of hellscape I'll find myself in. Yeah. You know? yeah, and I always yeah. make the joke of the only good spot is like right here. <laughs> and then the, the, the crowd has to gaze upon my pristine and granite-like buttocks for the, <laughs> or, or, or listen to the buzz. And they yeah. probably prefer the buzz. So um, that was the only thing that got me. And because prior to that, it always been, it's like, yeah, these pickups are uh, are noiseless. They sound pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much always been the thing. It's never yeah. been, these pickups are unbelievable. And they're noiseless, yeah. you know what I mean? So <laughs> once he described what the pickups did and that it was this revolutionary technology, yada, I'd like, okay, I'll, I'll go out there and see what they got. Yeah. We first did the strap pickups, which they call the Fishman Fluence Single Width. And then I worked with them on voice in the, uh, the classic humbuckers. Um, and I loved them. I mean, I, w I used them all the time. Yeah. And then I worked on the tele pickups, and mm -hmm. those came out um, a while back, and they're doing very well. I love them. I still, you know, I have them in all my major T, except for my 53 tele. I kept that conventional, yeah. right? Because you're not going uh, yeah, to. You're not going to yank the pickups out of that thing. <laughs> just, you're going to leave it as it. Be. Yeah. Um, but I always liked P90s. And, and the thing about P90s, is that we all love the way they sound, but if you add any kind of gain, they get noisy as hell. Yeah. So we had it kind of in the pipeline that we were gonna do, uh, at some point, do some P90s. First of all, there's not modeling technology. Everyone's like, oh my God, is there modeling? You know, is there some yeah. kind of digital hijinks yeah, afoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there, there's actual coils, but what it was is that this guy who was an aerospace, you know, worked in the aerospace industry, had these really thin circuit boards uh, that you could print a coil on. Right, so instead okay. of having copper windings around yeah. magnets, it's actually just these stacked circuit boards that have a printed oh, wow. winding. Yeah. So that in and of, of, of itself, you just plugged straight in with just that scenario. It's, it's mm. just anemic and not very high output. So there has to be a preamp on board. Okay. Okay. So, but with that preamp, you can have multiple voicings and you can pretty much shape that coil to sound any way that you right. want within yeah. the confines of what it is. It can't yeah. be what it's not. So you can't yeah. make a single coil a humbucker or vice versa, right? Yeah. Uh, so we usually have a shuttle guitar. So meaning we can pop in conventional P90 
P90s, mm. listen to how that sounds, yeah. pop them out, pop the Fluence versions in, right. which are set up with a guy at a computer with Frank Falvo with uh, uh, with this uh, digital skullduggery yeah, that he yeah. is using to voice the stuff. And then I'll be like, well, can we get a little bit more of this? And then he's, and he's adjusting it, it in oh, real wow. time, right? That's incredible. So then we pop those out, pop the other ones in. Yeah. So with every experience I've had with voicing the Fishman pickups, by the time we're done, and it's a long process, you know, you yeah. start the day and you're like, that ain't it, that yeah. ain't it. And then sometime as the day wears out, it's getting close to yeah. dinner all and of a sudden. Ding, ding, yeah, ding, yeah, ding, ding, yeah. ding. Yeah. And then by the time we're done voicing them, I actually prefer the sound of the Fishman pickups to the actual right. okay. pickups that we were going for. Because yeah. they just have a, there's an extra hi-fi quality, all the frequencies that are there that you want, and, and then there's no noise on top of it. And then you can have multiple voices. Sound-wise, what we were going for was, you know, I like to refer to a neck pickup on a P90 instrument as kind of a girthy glass, you yeah. know, sinuous yes. glass. Uh, and this certainly gets it. Now, if I go to bridge pickup, I wanted that kind of honky, yeah. you know, something I really found with the Joe Naylor, the Reverend P90s, that they yeah. did this really well. The other thing I really wanted to do is I wanted to have it in the middle position. I wanted an out of phase thing that I could get that Peter Green type yeah. of things, mm. which is available as an extra accoutrement ah, with the Fishman standalone iteration of the pickups. For this middle uh, position, when I go out of phase, I get the... that sound obviously yeah. It, yeah, it's yeah, killer yeah. yeah um and so they sound great clean it's a great clean sound but of course the real test is when you add the hey yes let's and hit, you, let's and you get don't want to Oh, look at that, brilliant. But if I go to the neck pickup, usually under most situations like that, the neck pickup would sound kind of muddy in yeah. comparison, but... It... <laughs> 
between the neck and, it and bridge amazing, yeah. is phantasmagorical. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable the amount of sounds that you can actually get out of it. Of yes. This, it's bizarre. Great, but bizarre. But you know the guitar I mean? you're holding, my friend, so yes. that has the, so the, this comes stock with these pickups, okay? All right. So you got the two voices, you got the out of phase thing. Yeah. When you buy the Fishman version of these Gristletone P90s, it comes with the three voices. Okay. Two volume, two tone control, configuration, all that kind of stuff. If you want the out of phase thing, it's actually a separate accoutrement. Right. So you get three sounds with this set. Okay. Yeah. So what we got is is that um, this is going to be like the button. Okay. So it goes between voice one and voice two. Okay. When you pop up this control, you get uh, a third voice that's a little bit more, for lack of a better term, like a conventional Fender esque uh, single coil. Right. So it's not going to be. It's not going to have the uh, the girthy glass. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to have the glass glass, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, why don't you check that out a little bit right. if you would so, be so kind. So that's regular, that's regular yeah. P90, and then yeah. the other one's more of the Fender-esque yeah. one. And yeah. then if you pop up the other one, when that's down, it'll get that second voice of the second it's got a little bit more girth yeah. to it. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely uh, hear that. Definitely hear that. That's, I mean, that's remarkable. I mean, that's... It sounds good, right? It's definitely something that I certainly would use. Um, I mean, there's, there's a world of exploration there in terms of tone and sounds and... and yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, that's... You've sold me. Excellent! It's over. I'll, I'll I know it. a guy! Awesome. Brilliant. I mean, so much fun. Again, I I'm trying not to laugh as you're playing. Just It's so fun watching you, honestly. It's brilliant. Oh, likewise, my friend. Good, clean fun. Exactly. It's, your guitar is fun. It's it the is. bottom line. It's the best when you're playing with him, of course. <laughs>